Today we are talking about a very important concept in conscious manifestation. But basically it means to adjust your thinking so that you're not going to take no for an answer. It doesn't matter what the 3D is saying or doing. It's not about the 3D. You don't have to negotiate with it or argue with it. Everything is about an inner attitude and we are going to talk about this today. But before I get into it, hello everyone, my name is Al. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're in need of coaching, go to my description box. All information it is there. But right now, let's get into today's topic. In the beginning of the lesson, Brazen Imprudence, Neville talks about the importance of whenever you have a new idea, a new concept, to repeat it over and over again until you start living by it until it becomes your common currency of thoughts, okay? So if you are starting in manifestation right now and you have doubts about it, it's common because you have lived your entire life thinking differently. But you have to learn about it, you have to put it into practice. You have to see results and not only with the thing that you desire the most right now, but in general. You have to put this to the test so that you can question reality, so that you can realize everything is malleable, that there is no separation between you and other people, you know, so that you can realize one thing. The 3D is already dead. When you start working on yourself, changing your self-concept, how you see yourself in this world and how you see the world, the 3D is already that. It's going to change, whether it is a small change or a big change. But it's not going to stay the same because you are already changing who you are. As a conscious creator, your job is to know what you want and to choose it. Because there is nobody out there that's going to do it for you. It's your job. So whatever you want, you assume that you already have it. And you continue assuming that you already have it. You persist in it until your assumption takes on the fabric of reality, takes on the feeling of being real for you. It becomes natural to you. And the naturalness of your desire is what's going to make it manifest. And this is all an inner process. This is actually the real meaning of prayer. So when you feel that reality within you, you know you are going to experience something without you in the outer world. You know, it's like Neville said, this is how you find God in yourself, by persisting in your assumption. When you know how to pray, when you know how to persist in your assumption until it becomes your inner truth, then you are going to realize that anyone and anything can be used as an instrument to aid the birth of your assumption, of your desire. They will do whatever they have to do to help you to experience your inner truth in the outer world. People do this all the time. The problem is that sometimes the script we have running within us is not in our favor. It's not what we deserve. So if things are not going well for you, change the script, do everything that you can to change your awareness of yourself and people around you. Heal, find your own freedom, create your own freedom within you by changing how you are seeing yourself and what you believe about people around you. As Neville said, every being in the world will serve your purpose. So you will say, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. In the book, Brazen Imprudence, Neville tells us exactly how to achieve that. So first step, you have to know what you want, exactly what you want. Number two, you have to create a scene that implies the fulfillment of that desire. Number three, you have to enter that scene and persist in that assumption as being true until you feel the fulfillment of your desire. So until the feeling of fulfillment agrees that you have experienced it, okay? And if that happens, then your fantasy is going to become a fact. If you have not felt the fulfillment of your desire, 
the Neville says, create another thing and repeat the same steps. So some people ask me, what does persistence mean? How do we have to persist and how do we have to let go at the same time? And this is it, guys. Persistent means you have to persist in an assumption until it becomes your inner truth. You have to be bold. You shouldn't take no for an answer. You shouldn't start asking or questioning yourself because of what the 3D is saying. You have to know who you are. You have to know which version of yourself you want to be, what kind of things you want to experience. You have to choose it. And when you feel like this is your truth, then you know you're going to experience it in the 3D. I would like to finish this video with a quote from Neville. There is no limit to the power of belief or to the possibilities of prayer, but you must be brazenly imprudent and not take no for an answer. Try it. So that's it, guys. Try it. Do it. Question reality. Learn about the power that you carry within you. You can do this, guys. That's it from me. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. We are going to talk soon. Bye, guys.